Let me set the timer. Okay, one more. Paper, getting ready, smooth side, ink from yesterday, and the paper towel to absorb extra color, and uh, some practice paper just in case. Okay, set my screen to this. Okay, it's time. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chinese brush painting class advanced class. Um, I think next class I'm going to put two cameras so you could see my face but right now I only have one so um, I'm going to put this way so you can see my painting. Uh, this is the raw shrimp paper in the smooth size facing up and uh, the other side is a little bit rough and uh, facing down. I like this way. Um, of course, you can use both sides. And uh, this is paper towel to uh, get some um, extra water out of the brush. And uh, I prepared some um, brush like big size, medium size, small size, and there's uh, another small size um, for backup. And uh, mm, uh, another shrimp paper is just a uh, practice paper. Uh, later, I'm going to use that to get rid of some uh, water. So let's start. Today, I'm going to show you how I paint wisteria and the swallow. In my channel, I've been giving very detailed lesson about how to draw the wisteria. Um, but today, I'm going to um, go over that again. Uh, but not maybe not that much detail. But if you are interested, you can uh, look uh, for the beginning class um there's a there's a um there's a one uh video is uh talk about uh is talk about how to draw wisteria in very very details in the in the beginning class and um, this is advantage class so uh a little bit of bravery than the other one uh today i'm going to uh put more um, effort in the uh, swallow part because in my channel I never uh, showed you how to draw swallow so this is going to be the first time um, I'm going to show you how to draw swallow um, so I probably put um, a big amount of time show you how to draw this bird um, like before um, when I show you how to draw it, I might be give you some structure about the, what the animal look like. And then I show you how to uh, draw the Chinese style way. So bird um, is a little bit more complicated than um, other subject like flower, um, fish, those things. Um, bird is um, more complicated so swallow is there is a head they have a, a very small head 
and usually the head is fairly round like this and uh, they have a body like a little bit bigger a little bit bigger than the head and they have a wing wing this is shoulder okay shoulder goes down this is their shoulder and uh, this is the wing part one two and one two and their their wing is fairly long on the end of end of the tip here and uh, this is their wing here and there is some feather and this is the mm, body part and the tail here they have a uh, two long tail here mm, usually it's um, for male swallow but there's a but this is um, what it look like and uh, this is the body here and uh, this is the bill eyes here this is the swallow and how you draw it is I choose a medium brush okay a medium size brush and I use the ink dark ink and the one use ink like two-thirds of them I put the ink on the two-thirds and the end is just some water but before I paint I'm going to get a more darker tone on the tip so darker tone and the dark ink and water like three level okay the head here I could use one stroke or I just use two stroke one two okay I use this actual paper um, to press on here so this won't blend bigger and bigger I want to control it in a nice small size and this is the head see this part so one two right and uh, here the here the front is round you can't get don't do it like this okay too sharp round okay and uh, get more ink central tip right central tip is like this way side tip is like this way so central tip I'm going to draw the body I can open my brush so get a little bit hair feeling try to connect the body okay see shoulder here same same thing okay I just keep going down and now get some water and get some ink here central tip very quick and sharp here see this is a curve and uh, like this okay this is the wing and I can make it straight a little bit and open my brush get another layer here and side tip 
so the side have the C and the tail okay and get more water make the ink like lighter tone like here very light okay and right now I could use uh, this paper get more water out very dry here and uh, this is the head part get some feather here and use a small brush fairly dry and uh, this is the bale very short bale and this is the eye here you barely see it right here this is the claw okay and uh, I'm going to add some color orange orange here and add a little bit of red here one stroke and the uh, can add a very light color on the tail here the peak I can use bluish because swallow is not really black color they have a layer of shiny bluish um, coat on their on their feather so I can add a little bit bluish here I, actually if you want you can add a little bit bluish on the claw so this is a swallow but um, today in here you can see there is an empty spot I can fill this up but today I'm not going to um, draw this very details because um, swallow is not the main subject in today's painting. Um, I'm going to give you a very abstract um, swallow now. Here, medium brush, dark ink. okay about uh, like this you can see um, I'm going to draw here okay hat okay and uh, one two this is the body head and a body about a similar uh, length but a little bit longer and I'm going to side the tip to draw the wing okay because it, you see this is uh there um there's a space here so i want to make it wider so put the side tip here one okay the other side shorter the other side shorter so like this one two there's two wing and the tip is with the longer so central tip quick and short uh, quick and uh, um, straight too. Okay, this side we can see more, this side we can see less. And uh, 
the tail. Usually, um, in abstract painting, if you open the wing, the tail should should be closed. This way, look, just uh, better. Okay, so one, two. It's like Caesar, but I don't really want to cross like a uh, cross. This is not very beautiful, so I like to just to make it look like cross. Okay, and uh, I'm going to involve another small brush to get very light tone and uh, less water. Okay. Where I'm going to draw is the bottom here. So this is the head. Bottom right here. And uh, add a little bit of ink. To draw the claws. So. Another darker tone to draw the bell right here and go down to here. And this is the eye. Okay, this is one swallow. I'm going to draw another one. One, two. Okay. Okay. And this one, the wing is a little bit close. And the, the tail is open. Then. Okay. Like this way. And the uh, lighter tone. And the uh, claws. Two or oh, three. Okay. Actually, there is a four, but you can only see three or two. Okay. This is another one. So this is like abstract painting. Draw another one. Okay, one, two. This is the head. Body. Wing. The other side you can't see now. So. So open the wing, close the tail. The other side the wing you can see here. And the belly here. Okay. And uh, the bell, short and flat. This is the eye. And the, uh, okay, this is the claw going to draw another one to show you. Head. And the uh, body okay and the wing here this another wing and the tip here and the open then I'm going to close this one this is the body here 
the body is lesser, uh, less tone. I mean, lighter, lighter tone. Okay, I can open the the mouse too here. There's some more space. I can keep adding different posture. Okay, um, I maybe add another one here. Okay, look up the head, body. Make sure, okay, longer, body is longer than the head. You know, this one, I could make the body longer even. You know. And uh, the wing is open a little bit, and always, you know, the face, the wing facing you should be still longer and wider than the other side. Okay. Feet right here. Okay. And now I'm going to add the color on their under their throat. Orange ish and a little bit of red on the tip here. It's better when they're dry, totally dry, but uh, I can't wait that long. So I'm going to just go ahead. Have to very be careful, otherwise, you know, wet color, mid wet color, they blend. Um, I'm going to draw this one. Add throw here, just one, okay, one. You don't rolling around, just like this, very quick, okay. This is um, how to paint the swallow. Right now, I'm going to uh, change the paper. Um, that's uh, back to the painting, main painting, uh, wisteria and swallow. Today, I'm going to use a square pa uh, square square paper, and this is about. Uh, nearly 10 inch by 10 inch so uh swallow going i'm going to put a swallow in the front and the background is the west area um so i am going to paint the swallow first and then add the and then add the west area sorry should uh, put my phone on mute Okay, let's draw swallow. You know, usually in Chinese brush painting, uh, swallow, bird, I mean, especially swallow, like to come in pairs. Okay, pairs, I mean, two, two, like more, even more, but rarely just one, okay? So um, I'm going to draw the swallow um, uh, 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 flying facing the wind, okay? So swallow go that direction, and later I'm going to draw wisteria this direction. They are facing to each other, um, make my paintings more interesting, okay? So I'm going to... Draw the swallow here, not in the center, okay? Not in the center. It's not very nice. So here, away from the center a little bit. And uh, one is like halfway down. This is halfway, and the other one is halfway up. And this, this is better. Okay. Here, face, facing the other way. Okay. Head. 
okay? I just to find out a little bit of dry now. Okay, I'm adding more ink. Okay. This is the body here. One, two. It's like narrow heart. It is the body in the, the wing here. One, two. This side shorter, right? And right away, that is too long. Make the wings pointy, and uh, the wing is open. The tail is closed in here. Okay. The other one facing here. Back front. Okay, right here. You know, they need to do be to be the similar size, similar size, right? Then it makes sense, okay? See, very narrow heart. And then the wing, you can this way side tip or the other way side tip, okay? Like this way, the other one, okay? Right away. And then, then the tail. Okay. And then I use my small brush, lighter tone. Okay. Here. Not too wide, okay? The, the, you know, you don't want to make the bird look too fat. Here and uh, here, all right, and add the bell. Pretty short bell. Looking up, and maybe open the mouth a little bit, and I add the eye here. Okay, this is the swallow. I'm going to add the red color later when it's dried more. Um, now I could draw a uh, vasteria. Um, the branch I could use lighter tone because um, I want the swallow standing up, standing out. So the swallow is darker, and so the the branch can could be uh, lighter. So from here, not in the corner, okay? You either from here up a little bit or here, not right from the corner here. Okay, a little bit um, curve, like here leave a like triangle. I could either from up to down or down to up, but I like to from the bottom. Okay, central tip. And here, and then, okay, and then, here, and some branches. Little bit. Uh, when the branch is thinner, then uh, usually the color will be uh, darker. Okay, and from here, leave a little bit of space. I don't want to have a sharp space here, so I could do like this, like this, and a branch goes out here, and there's a um, branch there. And uh,
there's some. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Here and uh, add a little bit texture. I know this branch, you know, the branch I think is very difficult part because you don't know which direction and where to go. Otherwise, they will tangle together. You know, it just takes a little bit of practice and uh, I suggest you to just uh, try to memorize from the real life. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to change a color panel because I'm going to here, going to the flower part. Um, I can wash away uh, the ink because later I will barely use ink. Most of it is the green color. So um, still the same brush, which is I paint swallow earlier. I'm going to use the same brush, mix a little bit of green color. Sorry, I think I'm outside. Okay, back up here. Didn't watch the screen. Now, here we are. Okay, get some green color right now I can uh, add more bluish because I'm going to draw the steam first um, from here let's get one wisteria um, here okay and uh, here we can um, get some uh, I mean leaves okay here there's some leaves can go here and uh, actually um, I could add leaves here but I think I'm going to uh, write my name here so I will leave uh, some space here decide later right now I'm going to draw the Wisteria. Wisteria, the base color is white. Okay, going to get some white color, very thin layer of white. Okay, I'm going to uh, put the brush aside for now and uh, get some purplish, which is red and blue mixed together you know when you dip color turn your brush like all the way right all the side got to get the color not just one side okay this is the purple-ish because this painting is quite small, actually I don't need to mix too much color. Okay, I'm going to put aside for now. Get the purple, uh, you desired purple, because sometimes purple could be more reddish um, or more bluish. It's all up to you, get the desire you desired level. So now I'm going to use back my uh, the brush I used earlier, right? And then make some purplish. The purple turned pretty light tone now. And right before I paint, I'm going to add a little bit bluish. Okay, mix a little bit. Okay, right here. One, two like a butterfly okay here one two one two 
Again, I did gave some very detailed lesson about how to draw wisteria. If you are interested, that you could look back. Chinese brush painting for beginner class. I spent like at least an hour to show you how to paint this flower. Okay, and keep adding color. I usually like to paint like two or three, st uh, three, I mean, like a group. Group by group. Okay, and here my color is very light now. I'm going to add white. Okay, and uh, Bluish, right before pink, get a little bit bluish. Okay, and right here. Some part is very um, squeezed, like here. If I do some flower here, then you can feel it's very white here. Okay, and uh, I think it's. Pretty good right now. Add a couple flowers here. And at the bottom here, I'm going to use darker tone. Here. This is the flower I haven't opened yet. Okay, and uh, add some dark color here, just for emphasize a little bit. Okay, and same brush, add very dark purple, but uh, more reddish. Okay. Here, add here. Now, using back this green color to put all the flower together. Central tip, okay. Alright, now I'm going to add a little bit yellowish. In the center, one or two, it doesn't matter. You know what? I just bought a golden ink. Really nice. And I'm going to put some golden ink here. You know what? I'm going to um, put a link in my description box. Then you can try it out too. Maybe golden color. Oh my god, it's so nice. Here, a little bit. So decorate feeling. Oh my god, so nice. Okay, just add a little bit. Shiny. And uh, back to the leaves. And the leaves, I'm going to use a little bit lighter tone, which just means add 
more yellow. And I'm going to mix a lot of green, just because um, there are a lot of leaves. You know, I don't want to mix again while I'm painting in the middle of the painting. Okay, and the tip have a little bit dark red, just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to um, draw the center one first. Okay. Okay. Two stroke. Okay, or you or one. It's okay. I like to use two stroke. Okay. And uh, again, next here, you know, be careful, don't draw on top of the solo. Here. A little bit of red, oh, dark red here. Okay, different angle, you know. Right now, I do feel I could add a little bit more leaves here under the flower right here and uh, add a little bit of red color. I'm going to uh, leave some time because I need to see if anyone leave some question so I need some time for the question time okay this is pretty good um, but still um, this this part to have this part to light um, I'm going to draw another leaf here see uh, this this all uh, this green is just enough just enough for me okay um before it's totally dry i need to use some ink to draw the steam, I could use either pure ink or you know, add a little bit red color inside the ink. Make the ink have a little bit um, red tone. Okay, so um, just central tip. To connect all the um, leaf onto the steam. Connect them together. Okay, and uh, I'm going to um, draw the finish the swallow up. 
Okay, finish it off. Going to get a little bit orange. Okay, and uh, some red on the tip. Um, where the where the straw is. Okay, right here. And uh, here is quite empty. Going to fix it up. Add some come here and some okay, add a little bit of texture on the branch because the branch is not smooth I could put my name on now it's finished okay put in here and here If I put, don't put my name here, then I should draw more leaves here. And uh, I could uh, put a stamp here uh, later. This is the wisteria and uh, solo now i'm going to have a look is there anybody leave any question it doesn't seem have any question here is anybody have a question Hmm. Is done seems I have any question. Okay. So it's only used me 12 minutes. Maybe I could give, show you the stem. This is the stem. Okay. Because we have some time. So I'm going to show you how I put my stem. And this is my name. Put some steam from my mouth. Make it more moisture. And put some color on the stamp. And uh, put the paper under it. And make sure this is the right direction. And I just put right under my name. Okay. And slowly open up. Done. This is a finished painting. You know what? I just noticed there is a problem. Because I didn't put the cloth. Even, you know, they are flying, they are not using it, but still, you could see it. Ah, oh, this is all makes sense now. All right, any more questions?
No. All right. Still have ten minutes left. Hmm. Let me see what I can do in 10 minutes. Maybe still have some color. Maybe I draw another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's draw another one. Still have 10 minutes left. Still have 10 minutes left. That's why I kind of prefer pre-recorded just because, you know, I can cut it off when I'm doing things like this, thinking, or I can kill some time like that one. because I have some time on to so I as I want if I do pre-record it I can control the time better But uh, the foundation want me to do live lesson, you know. But I don't really have much audience. That's the problem. Not much watching this at the same time so we usually do it later or another time I don't really see the point of doing this probably it's better quality if I do pre-record it but, but what it is what it is Doing some painting while I'm waiting, just in case somebody show up and uh, want to ask some question. So let's see what I can do in 10 minutes. Water. This is the wisteria season. I have a lot of wisteria in my yard already open. It's 
so beautiful. But the thing is, they died pretty quick. And find time to paint them, yet they just uh, pass out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Add some blush. And the yellowish. And then it just turned to green. Thank you, Vancouver Foundation. Gave the small grant to us so I could do some live video. Hopeful you will enjoy it. Hopeful you will enjoy it. All right. Mm hmm Haha, three minutes left. Let's see what I can do in three minutes. Alright. Let's see what I can do in three minutes. Oh my god. Okay. So well organized my time. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, going to quick painting this so the leaf is going to just be one stroke, then this way will be very quick you know what this is too empty i could add another Add another swallow. Okay. Another head. Okay. And the body. And it's opened up. It's another wing. Okay. Too dark. This time I'm not going to forget the cloth. Okay, and the eye. A little bit of sting. What this is is how to draw wisteria and swallow in. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right. And a little bit reddish here. Okay. Done. Thank you for watching. And uh, still have one minute, but. I'm not going to using up the time. Is there any message? All right, no. So, thank you for watching. This is how to draw um, wisteria and uh, swallow. You know, in here, this here, I could just uh, um, leave my name right here.
center and bottom a little bit right here. And this is another one. All right. Let me see whether I can put them together. Oh yeah, it's really fit. Fit inside here. All right. You know, if you want to make it more interesting, I sometimes do like shake a little bit, you know, shake color a little bit. And you can use the golden color and here. See, had a little bit purplish, you know? Make it interesting. All right. Thank you for watching today. Have a good day. Uh, see you next week. Hopefully there will be more, more people coming up to ask some questions. Otherwise, um, have a good day. Thank you.